All right, let's talk about probability problems that use the word or or the word not. Quick review of probabilities. They have to be a number between or including 0 and 1. So you can have the probability of something be 0, or you can have the probability of something be 1, or any number in between. You cannot have a probability greater than 1, so you can't have a probability of like 9 halves or something like that. And you can't have something less than 0, so you can't have a negative probability. If the probability turns out to be 0, then that event is impossible. It can never happen. And if the probability is, turns out to be 1, then that event is guaranteed. It's certain to happen. For instance, the probability of rolling a number less than 10 on a single die. That probability is 1. All the numbers are less than 10. The probability of rolling a number greater than 10 on a dice is 0. That's impossible. We can't have that happen. So we're going to keep those in mind as we're looking at these not and or problems. All right, so to start with, nots. These problems actually are going to have the word not in them, N-O-T. The probability of something happening plus the probability of not happening has to equal 1 because it's either going to happen or not happen. So total, that's 100% or 1. Well, we're going to try to find this not, which is called the complement in math world. So I'm doing a quick algebra. What I did was I subtracted the probability on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So what I was left with on the left was the probability of not E was equal to 1 minus the probability of E. That's what we're going to do. Every time we see not, we're going to subtract the probability from 1. So let's look at an example. What is the probability of not rolling a 6 on a regular die? Remember, die is just the, plural for, uh, the singular for dice. So I did 1 minus the probability of rolling 6. The probability of rolling 6 is 1 6. So 1 minus 1 6 is 5 6. Now we have a calculator to help us type that in. Or I'm going to show you how I did it by hand. 1 minus 1 6 is the same thing as saying 6 6 minus 1 6 because 1 can be rewritten as 6 6. When we subtract um, fractions, if they have common denominators, we're just going to subtract the numerators. So 6 6 minus 1 6 is 5 6.